What is up y'all? Welcome back to Lindsay's Life. Today is exciting for a couple of different reasons. One, we are going to be celebrating today. And two, we have our very first special guest. So our special guest is actually having a birthday this week. So that's what we're getting ready to do is celebrate. And we're going to make, you know, some goodies, baked goods. I know you just saw a baking video, but I had to do another one. So we're going to go ahead and bring out our special guest. And he's right here. So come on in. So this is Brody and Brody's a beagle and this is my first pet that I had on my own. Well, technically it was my boyfriend's, now my husband's, but he's been ours since he was born. So Brody was born on May 29th and he's actually turning five this year. So um, we're of course going to do something special for him and we're going to make him some goodies. So let's go ahead and get started. Off to the kitchen. Okay, so we're back in my kitchen. This is nothing new for y'all. We've been here a time or two before. You're probably going to see a lot of this kitchen anyway moving on we're gonna make dog cookies today um and if you hear you know some noises in the background that's because Brody is oh extremely excited clearly so we're gonna go ahead and get started because i don't know how much longer he's gonna wait on these goodies i have the recipe so what i'm gonna be using for these cookies are one and a quarter cups of whole wheat flour half of a teaspoon of baking powder yes it is baking powder this time I promise I checked, not cornstarch. It's fresh baking powder, so everything should be fine. Half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of water, one tablespoon of honey, and an egg. And we're also extremely grateful because we have farm fresh eggs, thanks to one of my really good friends who has chickens. So, fresh eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have my oven preheated to 340 degrees already. That's where they're gonna be cooking. So we're gonna start by combining all of our dry ingredients in a bowl, so let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to start with the flour, baking powder, and the egg in the mixer, which I have set up behind me here. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that kinda of just looked like a little sandy mixture in there. Now we're gonna add the water, honey, and peanut butter in and keep mixing. Okay, now they said this would be a really stiff dough and it definitely is um, so you might need to get in with your hands a little bit but um, it came together pretty well now it says to roll it out onto a floured surface and cut different shapes we're going to try to do like some bone shapes in there today um, i don't have a cookie cutter for dog biscuits but i don't know we'll see what we come up with so here is my ball of dough that i'm going to roll out on this board and we're going to try to cut out some nice little shapes not that the dogs care honestly so probably not a lot of them will be shapes now hopefully Bernie really likes these cookies because up until about i don't know a couple months ago he would eat just about anything that i would give him um, he loved cheese he would eat basically anything except popcorn i don't know what's wrong with him but he did not like popcorn but he's been eating chicken jerky treats, which have got him spoiled. And that's like the only treat that he wants anymore. He won't even eat his cheese. So hopefully he's gonna eat these. If not, they'll for sure be eaten. I have other critters. So we're gonna try to cut out some cute little shapes here. Okay, so now I have my pan of cookies ready and we're gonna put those in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes until they're um, darkened up a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and do that. So while these are cooking, I just thought I'd tell you a little bit about Brody. So um, in 2015, Dave and I were not living together. He was working and I was working somewhere else. So we were going back and forth visiting each other. And at the time, one of his friends was getting ready to celebrate his birthday and David told me that he was going to go skydiving with him. And I was basically begging David, please do not go skydiving. And he thought about it for a little while. And he said he was either going to go skydiving or he was going to get a dog. I was like, absolutely get a dog. I love animals. He didn't know what he was getting himself into six years later and four animals now, which you'll be seeing in the future are other animals because they also have birthdays and gotcha days coming up. So we'll meet them soon. Um, but he decided we were going to get a dog. Okay, no problem. So since we were going back and forth, seeing each other, 
he was going to come down and visit me one weekend and he said he was going to buy a beagle and i was like no we don't need to buy a beagle we don't we definitely don't need a beagle they're really loud and they need a lot of exercise you know that's really just not the dog we need it was too late he had already decided the dog that he was going to get he was paying for him he was going to pick him up on the way to see me it was done for it was settled okay we have a beagle um and once he brought him in He's been our little heathen baby ever since. He is a handful, he's dramatic. He gets special treatment for sure. We make a teepee on the couch for him at night so he has somewhere to sleep underneath the blanket because he likes to be underneath the blankets. So he's definitely spoiled, um, but we wouldn't have it any other way. Now Brody is about double the weight that an adult male beagle should be. Um, so he's definitely been put on a little bit of a diet and we started exercising him a lot more because his veterinarian was a little concerned with if he put on any more weight. So he weighs almost 40 pounds. Um, but this week's his birthday and he's going to celebrate. So he gets some nice little treat cookies and that's just going to have to be okay. He'll just have to walk extra on some other days. But um, here's some little photos of Brody as baby and now and he's just our little, little beagle baby. So. Hopefully he's gonna enjoy these treats and we'll check back in whenever they finish. Okay, so all of my cookies are out of the oven. They're nice and golden brown. And now I'm gonna put them on this cooling rack so that they can cool off all the way so that we can feed them Brody and see what his opinion is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so they're all over here cooling and we'll check in in a little while after they cool. Day, okay, the moment of truth, y'all. Oh, he likes it. All right, y'all. So they are Brody approved. He seemed to love them. Um, he does have to share them with his brother, but that's okay. So clearly Brody is done with this. He just wants more of his treats. So um, yeah, we're going to celebrate his birthday. and He's got plenty more of them to eat. So thanks for making dog treats with me. I know that's a really basic thing to do, but um, I had fun and Brody definitely enjoys it. So there will probably be more critter adventures coming up in the future, like I said earlier. So we'll catch y'all next time. Peace out. What is up y'all? Welcome back to Lindsay's life. Today is not you. Back up please.